Man, I knew the government hated our Second Amendment rights, but now it seems they want us to stop even talking about how much they hate the Second Amendment. Hi, I'm Ben, and you're watching the Minuteman Moment. Be sure to like and comment so we can beat the algorithm together. Okay, so this is some breaking news. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Matt Hoover, aka CRS firearm case, right? Well, for those of you who aren't in the know, be sure to check out the video to learn more. It's ludicrous that this case has even gone this far. But what gets even more ridiculous is that Biden's DOJ doesn't want anyone to report on this. Check your calendars, guys, because this is some 1984 level of suppression here, if you ask me. John Crump of Ammo Land News uncovered that the DOJ's attorney had written out a motion to prevent him from reporting on this case. This is crazy, that the Department of Justice wants to put a gag order on Crump. The reason? Because Crump's reporting has hurt their feelings and got them criticized by the public. Aw, is the government lawyer that's trying to put someone away for decades for a piece of metal? Do they need a safe space? Then they go on to say that Crump has no legitimate purpose to report on this case, and is instead just a YouTube personality. Well, that statement is false because Crump writes a ton of articles and is a regular contributor to One American News Network. Saying that YouTubers can't report on the news is also insane. It's like the DOJ wants to keep the public ignorant of these cases and the news that the two-way community wants to hear, but the mainstream media won't cover. I personally can't wait till I get a letter in the mail saying that I can't talk about GOA's latest case or what's going on in Congress because I'm not a member of the press and I just make these silly and goofy YouTube videos. Let me be straight here. This is the government trying to restrict a journalist First Amendment rights. It's absolutely insane that a government attorney could even try this in court and think they could win. Shows you exactly where our tax dollars are going. Truly the brightest people working as government lawyers. Oh, sorry. I mean those of different academic abilities. I don't want to have the DOJ wetting themselves because we dared to criticize them. Well, we already knew by her prosecution record that this attorney doesn't like the Second Amendment. Now with her motion, it's clear she has no respect for the First Amendment either. How do you think the assistant U.S. attorney feels about the Third Amendment, like quartering troops? These attorneys are supposed to be the people who put hardened criminals away, like murderers, rapists, and serial killers. So shouldn't they have a little bit of a tougher skin? If the attorney has to lash out over this case, what else are they hiding? They knew it would be a controversial case. It's not like Hoover was selling machine guns to the cartel, like some other three-letter agencies we know. <coughs> ADM. <coughs> Luckily, GOA's lawyer stepped in with an emergency motion to prevent this order from going into place. It calls out the government and reminds them that their place is not to be trampling on the rights of citizens. While we were editing this, guys, we got some huge news. While our attorneys showed up in court to defend John Crump, the government totally backed down and waved the white flag in the case against him. I guess the big guns of the 2A community scared the pants off the government because the first thing they said in court was that they were withdrawing the case against Crump. Oh, but it doesn't end there. The judge let the government attorney have it. Specifically, the DOJ sent an underling to the court because the actual assistant U.S. attorney was too scared to face the music. Just listen to what the judge had to say to the government attorney who did show up. Maybe I need to talk to Ms. Taylor. Ms. Taylor can explain to me why she requested relief that isn't authorized by law and is the entire reason that Mr. Crump filed his motion to intervene and the amicus are here and that my office spent, that my law clerk spent the last two days working on this. I have spent about a day and a half because we, frankly, were highly skeptical that there was any basis for the relief that was being requested. I have to follow the rule of law, and I'm required to rule on the motions that are presented to me. And so we looked at the authority, and I had to consider the arguments that were being made. And so I would, I would like to understand why that, you only have to look so far as the Pentagon Papers case to understand that there is no basis for this relief to have been requested. This is a massive smackdown to, for the government, who thought they could just slink away after trying to violate the First Amendment rights of a journalist. After GOA and YouTubers filed a motion to intervene, uh, their just kidding just didn't work with the judge. Preventing the government from silencing the community and letting these DOJ attorneys go uncriticized is a massive victory for the Bill of Rights and our freedoms. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more updates on the fights for your rights.